At the end of July 1953, General Cargo and an army of 20 freedom fighters attacked the forest camp station near Tuthu in Muranga district and captured four stern guns and executed five enemy forces. A massacre perpetrated by the British colonial regime followed this raid in their futile effort to avenge their own. More than 20 civilians were indiscriminately slaughtered by the colonial agents. <laughs> By the end of July 1953, Kago had already built a name for himself in the Land and Freedom Army. In fact, he had been one of the 12 members of the Supreme War Council, the SWC, under General Mazenge, which was formed back in March 20, 1953, at a conference in Gidogi guerrilla camp. Later, he was a member of the newly formed Kenya Defense Council under Marshal Kimathi in August 16, 1953 at Mwade Congress. This is proof of Kago's excellent reputation. Kago attained the rank of general in December 1953, two weeks after the death of General Martin Jago on December 4, 1953. His promotion coincided with that of General Ihura Kareri. Na atafanyo kuwa general na kimadi. Ambaye ya likuwa, eh, likuwa field marshal. Alikuwa na pigalia area ya Muranga. This title, supported with the size of the army that Kago commanded and the prestige he enjoyed in the army, only acted to boost his morale in the war front. In December 1953, General Kago, assisted by Captain Mumboko, led a raid in Kinari in Kinangob where eight enemy forces were killed. One day after the Kinari raid, Kago lay in ambush at Matara near Kiambu and killed six colonial agents before raiding the Matara Home Guard camp later that month. Assisted by Captains Mutungu, Kamau Wareshu, Mwamba Wamukoma, Thairu and Sergeant Major Kabanga, Kago overran Kinyona Home Guard in Location 2 in Muranga, where he burnt and killed countless enemy forces. These chains on chains of successive victories continued even in 1954. In February of 1954, Kago planned and attacked Maragua Power Station Police Post before joining up with General Manyeki's forces to overrun Gaturi Home Guard Post. This was followed by the battle at Makuyu, which lasted for two days. But alas, in the realm of war, what military man does grief escape? In all great battles that General Kago fought, the legendary Battle of Kayawe River of February 1954 stands out. Here, Generals Kago and Ihura lost 94 recruits who had been sent by the Kenya War Council from Nairobi. The recruits had been destined for both Nyandara and Mount Kenya forests, but were unfortunately intercepted at Kayawe by British mercenaries before they had time to enter the forest. This was the greatest loss that the Land and Freedom Army had experienced since the beginning of the revolution in October 1952. And thus, it goes without saying, Kayawe is a very bad river. Kayawe is a very bad river. Kayawe is a very bad river where our heroes were massacred. Let me go. Mama, I go. Mama, let me go and see Kayawe, where our heroes were massacred. General Kago never sleeps. General Ihura never sleeps. Our heroes never sleep. When they remember of Kayawe. This, however, did not dampen the resolve of Kago to fight the imperialist. 
It is in his effort to avenge his fallen men at Kayawe that in March 1954, and assisted by Generals Ihura, Manyeki, Captains Momboko, Kihara, Colonel Captain Kamwamba, and Sergeant Thairu, Kago attacked Kiriaine Home Guard Post, disguised as a colonial operative, and executed more than 30 colonial agents. On 30th of March 1954, and in the legendary Battle of Ekumbi in location 2 of Moranga, General Kago was shot and seriously wounded. <laughs> He was later captured by the colonial agents and savagely tortured to death after his defiant refusal to betray the Mau Mau nationalist cause. <laughs> walienda kupigana na walikuwa wanapigwa sana kwa sababu kulikuwa na ndege huko juu zilikuwa zinawapiga na na askari chini ndio wakati mmoja risasi zake ziliisha akiwa anataka kuchukua risasi kutoka kwa mtu kwa mmoja wa askari wake alipigwa risasi kwenye figo na ndipo alizirai walimchukua wakampeleka kwa hali na alipoonekana ndipo alikuja akauliwa na hao askari wa wakoroni baadaye ilipojulikana kwamba kago amekufa eh, watu katika kijiji kizima wakaitwa hata wale kaka zake wakaitwa wamili watu wa familia yake ndio waje watambue kwamba ni yeye amekufa na walipokuja wakatambua kweli ni yeye amekufa his body was then dumped in a pile of wood drenched with petrol and flames kindled with hails of bullets his body was consumed to ashes by the sky licking flames as women and children were forced at gunpoint to chant celebratory songs there was profound joy among the Europeans after the demise of General Cargo, whom they had humorously baptized the Black Napoleon. Today, General Cargo is celebrated as one of the greatest Mau Mau generals. General Cargo Stadium in Kangema and General Cargo Primary School in Thika are named after him. General Cargo Street in Nairobi is also named after the great leader. Baba ambaye alichomwa na kwa kawaida sio kitendo ambacho mwafrika mnapendelea kuona maiti imechomwa ningependa serikali ifanye mpango ndio kuona kwamba eh, yale mambo kama eh, yambe tumepewa sherehe ya mazishi mazi, ya yake ya kwa kumtambua ametabuliwa na apewe heshima ya mazishi ndio hata ionekane eh ionekane kuna mambo mazuri ambayo ametendeka na ionekane hata eh, ukumbusho wake uwe unaonekana hiyo eh, haya mambo tukipenda sisi kama familia tukipenda kwa tukipenda mambo kama hayo ya yafanyike ndio hata hata wengine ambao wanamjua na familia nzima ambayo ina ina, ina ushuhuda wa yale yote ambayo aliyafanya eh, ione kwamba kweli kuna heshima ambayo ametewa a hero of all generations general cargo's honored name and fame shall come down to all and thus it goes without saying meeting him in a brave dream tall dark lean so imposing and brave last night and banyandarwa mountain caves with a gun in hand and commanding thousand braves i saw general kago 
at the van of land and freedom army sweep down the forest for the false head filling brooks and gorges with barbarian red assisted by generals ihura and karuri at the rear and to purge evil of the land i saw general kago rip off the enemy's hand red flag soaring in the dusk smoke with one blow the savage colonialist regime he broke in his youth and while the war for independence shook the spear general kago's fame and name compared with no peer painting mist and taming mountains from nairobi to muranga grave battles he waged in rows and chains beyond those towers on towers with sorrow painted where now can the heroes faded bones be found and buried <laughs> Ya ke, o tu la ria ra masia, ke ma via kwere ira. Oye, 